Hey, it's Eric Barfield with Patch Foundry. Today I'm going to show you how to install the NS4 Worship Collection on your Nord Stage 4. Let's get started. So whenever you buy patches from Patch Foundry, you're going to get an instant download link. It's going to be a PDF file that looks like this and will probably show up in your download folder on a Mac if you have it. and maybe a little different on Windows. And it'll look like this. You'll have two things that you can do. The first one is you're going to want to download your files. You just click there, and then you're going to have a link to this installation video that you're watching right here. When you're finally done downloading, you're going to have your file come in as a zip folder, and then you just simply unzip it on in order to be able to access all of these files. Let me just walk you through what you have. You'll have a manual here. The manual looks like this. It will be what I'm telling you here, but just in written form along with a link to your training videos. So if you need to have your team or you want to look at these training videos to learn more about how to use the Nord Stage 4 and to play a little bit of worship music, that's there for you. Then you're gonna have a sample directory here. This includes all of the samples used in all of the patches for the worship collection. And this is just a way to reference if for some reason you can't find a sample, you can find, look it up based on the specific patch and you'll know exactly what you need. Next, you're going to have the archive file. This is a quick way to install everything in the worship collection on your, um, onto your Nord Stage 4 without any issues. Then you're going to also have program files. These are individual files that you can download into your Nord Stage 4 and uh, another way that we'll install and I'll show you how to do that in a second. You'll have your sample library and this is just stock stuff from Nord that I've aggregated here to make it really easy for if there's missing samples when you're installing. And then presets. These are original presets that I've created for organs, pianos, and synths that I've used throughout the collection and that I've separated out so that you can make your own sounds if you so desire. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do in order to install these files is go to nordkeyboards.com and go under software. They have some free software here called the Nord Sound Manager. You're gonna to wanna to download and install this on your computer. While you're here, go to the Nord Stage 4 product page and click on downloads. When you get there, you want to check to make sure your OS is version 1.32 or higher. And if not, just click this and download it to make sure you update your OS before you start installing anything else. Once you've installed the Nord Sound Manager, it should look something like this. But of course, you're going to have to connect it via USB cable to your computer for you to be able to see this view. Now, at this point, there are two ways that we can install it. We could either install it using an archive file, which is really, really fast and installs everything you need without a lot of hassle, but it removes all of the stuff that's on your Nord stage for currently. So some people like that, some people don't. The second way is more complicated. It's the manual way where we essentially merge everything that is in the worship collection with your current settings on your Nord Stage 4. And this way is a little bit more complicated, but in the end, you're able to combine what you already have and the worship collection together. So let's start off by showing you how to do the archive file version. So for starters, we're going to click this little button up here in the right hand corner called backup. And we're going to save a copy of this to our desktop just to make sure that we don't accidentally delete stuff we want to have. Once we've done that, we can come up here and hit restore. And then I'm going to look for the archive file that I have. I'm going to go to my desktop here. And then I have saved it in this folder on my desktop under here. And it looks like this. When I click on this, it will automatically load all of the worship collection into my Nord Stage 4. And that is literally it. It'll automatically install everything in the correct places and the right orders, and you're good to go. Now, let's go ahead and talk about how to install it the manual way. 
The manual way means that we're going to have to grab the files that I've included and manually place them where we want them. So let's start off with program files. Before we get started, we need to click this Organize button. The Organize button will let us see all the empty slots. By default, if you have the factory presets are installed, you're going to have 100 open slots. And so you'll have to make room, I think you'll have to remove around 5 or 6, maybe as many as 10 patches here in order to install all of the worship collection. Or you could just install a few of the programs and kind of add as you need. It's your call. To install files, it's really simple. There's two ways to do it. One, we can just come up here, click on a program files, and then it's in two banks, and we can either select them all, so I could hit Command A, or select a few, and literally drag and drop them over. And remember, you have to have that Organize button working here for this to work. And yet again, that's all you would have to do in order for these files to work. But I've also included all of those extra presets that I showed you that you can install to make your own sounds or to augment the sounds we have. Let me show you how to install those. Let's start by installing some organ presets. To do that, I'm gonna click up here on this tab section on the organ setting. Then I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to go back to section presets, organ presets, and then I could either drag and drop this whole thing into the empty slots down here, or I could just grab a couple. And again, I'm gonna repeat the same process I did with the program section. I'm just gonna simply drag and drop in what I need, or if I want to, I can drag and drop all of them with maybe needing to remove a few. Just repeat that with the piano section and the synth section, and you have everything. Now, suppose that for some reason you install all of these presets and there's error messages where something shows up yellow that says missing sample or sample unknown and you can't figure out what's going on. Let me show you exactly how to fix that. For starters, if you have the factory presets installed, you shouldn't have to worry about this, but occasionally Nord will update their factory bank and sometimes they'll change names or they'll remove samples. And in that case, you might have to manually add in some sounds. Let me show you how to find the sounds. So if we come up here under program, <clears throat> it's gonna show up yellow when there's a missing sample. So let's just say, I don't have it installed right now, but let's say we've installed a file that is missing one. You can come over here to this area called sample directory. And this is a CSV file, it'll work with Windows or Mac. And this is gonna list all of the samples for every single individual patch in this entire collection. So like, let's say we're missing some samples here on the uh, sample here, WC, BL, upright accordion, where it will tell us we need a black upright, this one here, we need this one, and we need a Bambino piano. Now, to install these, it's really, really simple. You're just gonna come over here to the Samples Backup folder. Let's go to that first piano. It's an upright. And then I'm gonna find it here. It's the black upright, and that's exactly the one we need. And then I'm gonna come over here to my piano section. And I'm gonna have to clear out enough space that I can have it, and then drop it in to the spot here. Again, this shouldn't be necessary, but if for some reason you're having a bunch of errors, this is the way to fix that. And then to do a sample library, you just simply click on the sample library tab and do the same process, but just go in the sample library, and scroll down, find the thing and drag it in. Now, if you get stuck on any of these steps or I'm not clear enough for you, you can always write me at patchfoundry.com and I'll personally write you back. Thanks so much.